Hello, this is Matt with 3G Store. Today we're going to look at the bandwidth monitoring features that the Peplink Balance series of routers will offer you. Now I've got a Peplink Balance 30 operational here, and this is actually managing our entire network at our facility in Cary, Illinois. So the first thing that you can see is I'm under the real-time data statistics. And you'll notice that it has a section for all of your WAN connections, which would be any 3G, 4G modems, cable, DSL connections, etc., all combined to give you a complete picture of how much data you're actually transmitting through the device. So you can see we've done roughly 176 gigabyte on the download and a little over 123 gigabyte on the upload, as well as you can reference the last reboot to see how much you've done since the last power cycle on the device. And we also have a quick reference real-time chart so you can track data usage and look for any type of spikes. As you can see, we're averaging about one-tenth of a meg there with a uh, peak time of about one and a half meg and close to four meg on the upload. And if you need a reference point, you can mouse over this and it will give you indicators on both the down and up link, uh, making it a little easier versus looking clean over at the left side of the, the chart to figure out how much data you're using. You can also look at real-time statistics based on your connections that you have available. Here's the Comcast connection, a Surf Mini, which is a failover solution, as well as our mobile internet. So you can see if you have active connections going or if you have connections grouped together in the application priority, you can reference how much data each one of those is consuming. So we can go ahead and move over to our daily listing, which gives a daily overview of all the active connections that you have plugged into the Peplink Balance router. So you can see that we have either via connection method or we can scale this to megabyte or change that to gigabyte. And this is a very useful tool if you want to break down use by either user or see how much data you're consuming on any given day. So with this, we actually have all the connections displaying right now. And again, you can run your mouse over that and see approximately how many megabytes or gigabytes that you're using on any given day. And let's say we wanted to see how much the device is failing over to the UML 290. You can jump right to that and it breaks down the graph and it shows just the UML 290 at this point. You can see here's a day we use 14 megabytes of data. Uh, 2 megabytes, 4 megabytes, 2, 2, 2, 3 megabytes. So these are probably a very minute service interruption to the point where we didn't even know the connection went down since the balance series offers seamless failover. And another nice feature is with all of the current carriers pretty much going to a usage-based plan, you can also configure your billing cycles and specify an allowance. And if you hit that allowance, it'll automatically terminate that connection so you don't have any fear of actually going over your data limits for the month. In this example, for this particular month, we've only used approximately one percentage of our monthly allotment. And again, if we go back up to the top and go back to all of the connections, it does break it down into individual days too. And this is actually incredibly useful if you see a big spike on one particular day and want to know exactly where that data is coming from. So you can just click on that and it will actually break down into each individual IP address and you can go ahead and name all of these so they're easily identifiable as well as quickly reference how much download and upload that particular machine has produced. And that can be an incredibly useful feature if you're noticing all of a sudden you're using an unusually large amount of data. You can actually go in and see each individual connection to see if an employee may be doing something that they shouldn't be doing. And then, of course, you can apply the specific limits on that to prevent them from using too much data or take appropriate measures. So we'll go ahead and close out of here. And again, it's showing you your current month, and that can also be configurable on all the connections. So if you want to set up different limits, I know Comcast has a 250 gigabyte cap on their standard residential tier. Uh, I believe it's unlimited on the business tier. But a lot of companies are moving to this usage-based pricing, 
it's incredibly useful to determine exactly how much data that you're consuming if you are on some type of cap tier. That way you're going to prevent yourself from getting overage charges. And then finally, we can go over to our monthly consumption. And again, this just breaks it down into each individual month. And you can see a chart to track your usage as the months go on here. Again, with a quick reference on how much data that you're using at any given point. And you can also break it down by connections. So if we wanted a larger overview of approximately how much data that we're consuming on, say, our 3G, 4G UML 290, we can just go over to the mobile internet and we can see precisely where we're using the data, what days, and we can see approximately where we're using the data on the specific months in question. So you can see back in it would have been April, we used upwards of 90 megabyte for that complete month period. And you can also break this down by calendar month if you want a more accurate depiction. As you can see, back in July, we used a little over 700 megabytes on our 3G, 4G UML 290. So this is actually at a point where the cable connection went down for an increased period of time. And this gives you a good reference with a 5 gigabyte cap. You know you're close to 1 gigabyte or roughly 20% of your cap. Again, you can always set up your allowance or even when your device fails over, if you want to set up an SMTP server, you can get notifications to whichever recipients that you would like to receive notification. That way that they're aware they're operating on a 3G, 4G connection or maybe a more expensive satellite connection. And then we can go back to the all WAN connection. And again, you do have the links in here if you want that broken down. And this is basically giving you each IP or client for a month's period of time. So you can see how much data a particular computer transferred. Again, you can run your mouse over it, and it's going to indicate that person's particular device, as well as how much data they've transmitted over a particular period in time. So as you can see, this is a very powerful tool that allows you to quickly indicate and reference all of the devices on your network approximately how much data each of those devices are consuming. And these type of statistics can be very useful when you're going to set up quality of service or network prioritization within the balanced routers. What that allows you to do is reference who's using the big data. Who do you need to have more bandwidth? You can add the rules in and basically give the users that are requiring more data access more bandwidth. And those that aren't using that much data you can either create an individual limit for them or you can create a group policy and just group the lower users into a different prioritization where maybe they just don't get as much bandwidth because they're simply not using as much. Thank you.